Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be based on the differences between these two SPFs that look extremely similar, but there are a few key differences that I want to talk to you about that I missed in my last video and I um, just wanted to actually run over and make sure that I have all the details exactly correct for you. Um, if this is your first time to my channel, all my videos are based on beauty and skincare and mainly the body shop products as I am a body shop at home consultant. But everything that I talk about is of my um, absolute genuine opinion. And um, yeah, so if that is your thing, please hit the bell, hit subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos and let's just get started. So the Body Shop originally bought out this um, Skin Defense. So it's Skin Defense Multi Protection Lotion SPF 50 plus and it has um, four stars which means which is um, in relation to the UVA protection. Um, and how good it is. Um, it also has indoor and outdoor pollution. This one gives you 24 hour moisturization and it also um, is enriched with vitamin C and red algae, which will help um, brighten your skin, really helps with pigmentation um, and just gives a really lovely radiant complexion. I absolutely love it and find my skin is really super comfortable with this. It is really lightweight but I have to say um, when I apply it to my skin it does feel slightly heavier than you might necessarily want. It is still super lightweight for an SPF 50 factor um, but when you do start rubbing it into your skin I do think it has a thick-ish feel. I wouldn't describe it as weightless. Um, although it is, as I say, very lightweight for an um, SPF 50. So when Body Shop said they were bringing out a weightless one, an even lighter one, I was like, ooh, how amazing. So um, this one, so this one I would describe as for normal to dry skin types. Um, but all skin types can use it, I would say. But if you are more oilier, you are probably gonna prefer this one because it is more of a lightweight finish. Um, some of the key differences are as well. So if you, um, this one is enriched with vitamin C and red algae, which will help brighten your skin. And as I say, will really help with pigmentation. And this one is enriched with hyaluronic acid, which will help plump your skin um, as well. Um, it is super lightweight. I'm gonna show you the difference in the textures so I'll just show you here so this is the lotion which you just see me rubbing into the skin there and it does just disappear into the skin and it does give you the most radiant luminous glow it is just perfect for a makeup base as well. So it's beautifully underneath makeup, which I adore. This one, I'm gonna show you on my other hand as well, it is more of a lightweight texture. And hopefully you'll be able to see when I rub it in, you might not be able to see, but it does feel noticeably lighter. Um, on the skin so yeah probably better for more normal to combination to oily skin types as you still want to protect your skin um and again it sits beautifully under makeup i have tried them both under makeup no rolling no peeling anything like that at all and um, they both have indoor and outdoor protection as well so I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to be using this one today because um, I do really love that lightweight feel and you possibly haven't seen this one as much as you may have seen the other one because obviously this was brought out a year or so ago. So I'm going to use about that much and you just want to make sure you just cover every sort of area. The only place that I would suggest avoiding is around the eyes. It does say avoid... Let me just say avoid eye area. Um, so yeah, so don't get too close to the eyes, but do make sure you're protecting your eyes. I will be putting an SPF makeup on my eyes. Um, and I will also be putting a, uh, I'll be wearing sunglasses when I go out um, to protect my eyes. And actually, I think I'm gonna start wearing a hat as well, cause I'm just really wanting to 
So, you know, avoid my crow's feet from getting any worse and I just want to make sure that my skin is fully protected. You know, sun cream is your single-handedly most important product you need for anti-aging. If you were doing all of the other, um, you know, anti-aging tricks and techniques, um, but you're not wearing SPF, you really are wasting your time you need to be wearing your spf and also don't forget to top up throughout the day and um, if you don't wear makeup just reapply these and it'll give extra hydration as well which is just fantastic don't forget the neck area as well because and um, the, th the skin on your neck is super um thin and um, thinner than anywhere else on your face and will age quicker so really make sure you're protecting your neck as well i actually do remember watching a video with nadine bagger another amazing skincare expert that said that she forgot to well she never used to put spf on her neck um and she really notices a difference and she really wishes that she has so um make sure that you are putting spf on your neck to protect it um so that is another top tip um and the other thing, as I was saying, is to make sure you are topping up. You want to make sure that you're topping up throughout the day. So if you um, do wear makeup, your other option is the SPF face mist. So this is SPF 30 and it's PA++. So it isn't as powerful as these two. However, um, it's still gonna add that extra protection over your makeup throughout the day. Do keep your eyes closed until it is dry um, and that will um, ensure that you don't get it in your eyes and get any stinging as well. Um, and it also has the anti-pollution protection with it as well. Another thing just to mention about the differences with these two, this one does have your 24 hour um, moisturization hydration where um, this one is definitely more lightweight. So if you don't need as much moisture, um, this could be, this will be the one for you. I really hope that helps. And um, as I say, they both sit beautifully under makeup, great makeup bases. I actually wouldn't wear makeup without one of these because I find it just like the most beautiful base for my makeup. It just seems to make my skin glow and look brighter and more luminous. So I really recommend it um, as just an amazing facial SPF and also, as I say, don't forget your neck. And yeah, I think that is everything that you need to know about the Body Shop Multi Protection range. Um, if you have any questions, just comment down below. I really hope it was helpful and you enjoyed my video. If you did, please hit the bell, hit subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos and I'll see you all in the next one. And thank you so much for watching. See you soon.